Hey, it's Eamon with IP Exchange. We're at Embedded World 2024. I'm here with Jan Friso from Halo. And as you can see, there's an AI in that logo, so what do you bring to the AI table for design engineers? Yes, thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah, we have, uh, we're Halo, an Israeli-based uh, startup out of uh, 2017. What we have developed, first of all, is an AI accelerator. And it's all about AI acceleration inference at the edge, which is about power efficiency, which is about performance. So this is our first product that we've got out here. And let me show it to you. It's on an M.2 module. It has 26 stops and it takes around three watts uh, on average and can run your inference at the edge. Cool. So, in terms of applications, what what do you see as like the ideal spaces where uh, Halo's chips uh, perform their best? Yeah. So there is there is the the accelerator uh, mm. that we just described, the Halo 8, our first mm. product uh, that is actually running in combination with uh, over PCI Express mm. with any SOC that is out there, okay. right? Intel, ARM, nice. all, all the ones. Uh, the other product that we have out there in the market is our second generation, is the Halo 15, okay. uh, that, you can, that you can see here, the small one. Oh, nice. Uh, which is a camera chip. It's actually a one, one, uh, one chip camera chip. It has the ISP, the DSP, it has the AI to make a smart camera. Okay. Right? So that would that be used for kind of um, facial recognition, number plate recognition? That yeah, kind of so stuff. number plate ITS is a big thing. Everything around smart cities, right, where you do um, uh, detection for vehicles, pedestrians, and of course also security as one of the key topics. Uh, also on how you want to uh, measure the, the junctions and, and keep them safe, right? So those are the things that are happening there. Yeah. Cool. And. Um, I heard you say that this is for at the edge. Yeah. So in terms of uh, what does that look like in terms of where the data is going? Does it stay on the device? Does it kind of go between the cloud? Yeah, or? so the, 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 the key thing that we have uh, done to in order to get the high performance, uh -huh. uh, the performance and the power efficiency mm -hmm. is run it on the memory in the, okay, in cool. the device, right? Cool. So the memory is, is in here. Uh, you can run it in here. And anyway, by using it at the edge, of course, you can keep your memory or your data where it's safe in your own, in your own area. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. There's one, one, perhaps one thing furthermore, as, as we just made the announcement, and let me then take the opportunity. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, also, Gen AI. There's a lot of focus in the industry about Gen AI. So last week, we made our announcement on a new product, the 10H, the Halo 10H, okay. which is going to be specifically designed for, uh, for using Gen AI at the edge uh, in oh. case, which is very going to be very nice. interesting yes. for many applications. Uh, an industrial user uh, machine interface and stuff like that. I guess you've only just announced that, but have you like tested that with any of your customers before in kind yes. of market? Can yeah. you say anything? Yeah, or? I can. I can say a bit. Yeah. I think the key, the key interesting markets are, if you like, the PC market where you see a lot of happening on AI, AI computers, yeah. right? So the PC market, automotive. Mm. Uh, if if people are experienced about the user interface mm. in cars. Uh, I think this is where uh, Gen AI can help and improve a lot. Uh, and of course, industrial information, if you talk about embedded systems, hmm. the, the, the HMI towards the machines, oh, yes, that yes. is a big thing where yeah. this can all run, right? So really looking nice there. Cool. So is that going to be uh, in terms of kind of the natural language talking back to yeah. you that, yeah. in that yeah. kind of way? Yeah. So, cool. and I mean, the simple thing, if you just like the, the, the manual, right? Yeah. So can you explain to me how to do ABC? Oh, no, but of course, yeah. you can do a lot more things yeah. in, in just in the natural language. In, in a way that wasn't possible before. Right? That's very, very exciting. Yeah. Okay. So um, if an engineer wants to test this technology, uh, do you have, um, I saw yeah. there's an M.2 card there, but in terms of evaluation boards, do you have the, yeah. that Yeah, so kind of the stuff typical evaluation we typically do indeed with the M.2 uh, board because it's easy, right? Yeah. You have a laptop, you have a PC, or you have an interface and you can get it going. Uh, there's also things like Raspberry Pi where, where you can have a hat on there. Uh, and, and things like that. So, so these things are out there. Excellent. Yeah. And in, uh, in terms of uh, uh, if someone, because this is very, very exciting, are there some ready to go demos uh, coming soon for that Gen AI, Gen AI stuff? So the Gen AI, we announced it. We're, we're going to yeah. be coming with further, further cool. uh, announcement later this year on, on the implementation. Uh, but that, that's to become. Cool. But, uh, I think we'll have to soon. do a follow up interview when that happens. We so we'll need to stay in touch. Okay. 
Cool. Okay. Check out Halo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, where my engineers at?